Mashukuru wa Mjambo. Rift Valley wa Mjambo. Nakuru wa Mjambo. Eh. Hey. Yaani Nakuru mumeamua. Nakuru mumeamua. Nakuru mumeamua. Ni kuzimia ama ni Kenya kwanza? Ni kuzimia ama ni UDA? Ni kuzimia ama ni UDA? Hebu ni wale wale wanasema ni UDA, 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 UDA. Hey, 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 yeah. Allah. Wangwana wanakuru. Hata mimi nimekubali. Mimi nimekubali. Nyinyi mumeamua kweli. Na mi naona hii uchaguzi imeisha. Hii uchaguzi imeisha. Hii uchaguzi is over. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Ndugu zetu watu wanakuru. Mimi kwanza nataka niwashukuru sana. Nyinyi mnajua mahali tulianza safari ya kuunganisha Kenya ni hapa nakuru hapa nakuru ni kweli ama si kweli jameni si tulianza safari hapa nakuru na ndugu yangu uhuru kenyata si tulianza safari ya kuunganisha Kenya hapa nakuru ni kweli ama si kweli na mimi ninaona waswahili wanasema dalili ya mvua ni nini dalili ya mvua ni nini nimeona dalili ya ushindi hapa nakuru na kuunganisha wa Kenya wote ndugu zetu watu wanakuru ile safari mlianzisha ya kuunganisha Kenya mimi nataka niwaahidi the journey we started in nakuru to unite the people of Kenya to get rid of tribalism to eliminate negative ethnicity i want to tell you the great people of nakuru I will not betray the spirit of uniting the people of Kenya and bringing all communities of the people of Kenya together. It does not matter who does not join me, but the spirit we started in Akuru to unite the people of Kenya. I want to promise you, the great people of Nakuru and the people of Kenya, that we will not betray the spirit of bringing Kenya together and getting rid of ethnic politics and negative ethnicity so that we can unite our country into prosperity Jameni ndugu yangu mnakuru mnanisikia na mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu jameni kuambia watu wanakuru hiyo safari mlianzisha hapa nakuru hiyo safari imeenda mbali kwa sababu <laughs> asanteni sana asanteni sana nakuru hiyo safari mlioanzisha hapa nakuru nataka niwaambie tuliunda serikali 2013 tukaunda serikali 2017 kwa kura zenu na kwa sababu mlituombea na mkakuwa washirika wetu na mkatushikilia leo katika taifa letu la Kenya tumejenga reli kilomita saba kutoka kule na eh, Mombasa mpaka imefika hapa Naivasha ni kweli ama si kweli tumetengeneza barabara kilomita moja katika sehemu zote za Kenya ikiwemo barabara za hapa nakuru karibu kilomita ine na hamsini ambazo zimejengwa hapa nakuru ni kweli ama si kweli tumeunganisha stima watu milioni nane Kenya wakiwemo watu elfu ine ishirini wa hapa nakuru county ni kweli ama si kweli tumeunganisha na kutengeneza mambo ya masomo ya watoto wetu wa Kenya technical training colleges tumejenga ni moja sabini zikiwemo technical training colleges sita za hapa nakuru county ni kweli ama si kweli jameni na ndio mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu the great people of nakuru to proudly tell you 
Thank you very much for uniting Kenya, for supporting our cause, and for transforming our nation, because it is the government that you people created in Nakuru that has taken a step in the right direction for the people of Kenya. Nandio mimi nasimama mbele yenu, watu wa Nakuru, jameni kuwa shikuru sana kwa kutushikilia na kutuombea na kwa kura zenu. Nakuru tumeelewana? Nakuru tumeelewana? Hiyo kazi yote watu wa Nakuru imefanyika kwa sababu ya maombi yenu, kwa sababu ya ushirika wenu, kwa sababu ya umoja wenu. Na mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Nakuru, we will not betray you. We will work with you. We will unite this country. We will move forward. We will transform Kenya and Kenya is going to be a great country because of our unity and because we are determined to work together and bring all communities of the Republic of Kenya to unite and to work together. Tuko pamoja jameni. Nakuru tunaelewana. Lakini mnajua watu wa Nakuru ya kwamba hiyo awamu ya serikali yetu inaisha wiki ijayo. Na ndio tumekuja hapa tena kuwauliza watu wa Nakuru jameni tunawaomba kwa unyenyekevu mkubali tuunde hiyo serikali ingine Jumaine ijayo tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane ili tuweze kutengeneza serikali itakayopeleka taifa letu mbele Mimi nawauliza kwa heshima kubwa na kwa unyenyekevu watu wa Nakuru Mnajua tu kwa na kazi ya kufanya tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane? Muko na habari ya kwamba tuko na nafasi ya kutengeneza serikali ingine Jumaine ijayo tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Nakuru mumejipanga ama mnangojea kupangwa Ati Nakuru mnasemaje Mumekataa kupangwa Mnasema amufanye nini Nakuru mnasemaje Rift Valley mnasemaje Ebu ni yole wala wanasema atupangwingi hii dunia Asana la Nandyo tumekuja hapa ndugu zetu Tumekuja hapa kuuliza idhini yenu Tumekuja hapa kuuliza kura zenu Tumekuja hapa kuuliza imani yenu Ndyo tuweze kutembea pamoja Tuweze kutengeneza serikali ya Kenya Ambayo itajali maslai ya wa Kenya wote Na tumekubaliana Tunaanza iyo safari wiki ijayo na kupunguza garama ya maisha Garama ya maisha imepanda ni kweli ya masikweli Unga imepanda, mafuta imepanda, petroli imepanda Mambo ya mbolea imepanda ni kweli ya masikweli Nandyo tunawambia watu wa nakuru Serekali tunatengeneza jumaine ijayo Tumesema ili kupunguza garama ya maisha Kwanza tunapunguza garama ya mbolea garama ya pesa ambayo na wakulima wanatumia ili tuwakikishe tunamsaidia mkulima aweze kujisimamia awe na mbolea yenye iko bei nafuu awe na pesa ya kuendesha kilimo watuzalishie chakula kwanza kilimo iweke pesa kwa mfuko ya mkulima na pili kilimo Ituzalishie chakula ya kutosha Chakula ifike hapa sokoni Ikiwa bei na fuu Ndiyo kila mkenya Aweze kulisha familia yake Na tuweze kuondoa aibu ya njaa Katika taifaletu la Kenya Jameni watu wanakuru Mimi na waomba kwa eshima Mukubali Tutengeneze serikali Ambayo inaelewa matatizo Na luga Na hiko na suluhu Ya matatizo ya wananchi wa kawaida nakuru tunakubaliana tunakubaliana nakuru tunakubaliana tafadhali jameni tumekuja kuomba idhini yenu na kura zenu na imani yenu ndio tuweze kutembea pamoja mtakubali tembee pamoja hebu nione wale wanasema tutatembea pamoja 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 
Vile vile mimi nataka niwaulize ndugu zangu watu wanakuru mukubali ya kwamba tuwe na viongozi ambao wanaelewa matatizo ya wananchi shida kubwa tulionayo ndio leo njaa ime, imekabili taifa letu ni kwa sababu hawa viongozi wengine hawajawahi bwana kitendawili na wenzake hawajawahi kulala njaa hata siku moja hawaelewi kulala njaa ni nini ndio leo bei ya unga imefika thelathini kwa sababu tuko na viongozi waziojali tuko na viongozi ambao hawaelewi and that is why na wauliza jameni mkubali tuunde serikali na viongozi ambao wanaelewa matatizo ya wananchi wa kawaida so that we can have a country that leaves nobody behind na kuru tunaelewana jambo la pili vijana vijana wanakuru muko vijana wanakuru muko vijana muko nataka vijana munisikize young people nataka vijana munisikize tumekubaliana mwaka huu for the first time in the history of the republic of kenya we are going to have a marshall plan we are going to have a mega plan a marshall plan for the employment of the young people of our country we have five million kenyans young people energetic talented educated out of school and out of college yet they have no jobs they have no opportunities they have no chance to be their best in kenya and that is why we are saying this year for the first time we are going to have a marshall plan on employment of our young people we are going to deploy every year 200 billion kenya shillings so that we can develop our leather industry our textile industry our wood industry in agro processing in value addition in manufacturing in housing so that we can create opportunities for these young people we can get every young person to use their talent their knowledge their energy in driving the economy of our country and we can create a nation where our young people are not idle and they are not left behind and that is why i am asking the young people of nakuru county please when you go to vote please vote wisely and vote for a plan that will give you a job and give you an opportunity so that you can be the best citizen that you can ever be vijana wa nakuru mnanisikia jameni vijana nataka munisikize bwana tafadhali mimi nawauliza kwa unyenyekevu vijana mkubali mwaka huu tumesema tunaweka mpango maalum marshall plan ya kupanga ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya na tumesema tutaweka bilioni mbili kila siku ku develop leather industry textile industry wood industry in agro processing value addition manufacturing housing ndio tutengeneze nafasi za ajira za vijana wa Kenya wale wamemaliza shule vijana karibu milioni tano ambao hawana ajira leo mimi nawatangazia vijana wa Kenya mkiweko wazazi ya kwamba tutakuwa na mpango maalum ya ajira ya hawa vijana vijana muko tafadhali my friends mimi nataka niwaambie hivi mimi nataka niwaambie hivi musikubali tupelekwe kwenye karata ya pata potea yule jamaa tunashindana na yeye bwana kitendawili sio mtu mgeni kwenu mnamjua huyo jamaa hana mpango huyo jamaa hana plan huyo jamaa hana sera huyo jamaa hana agenda <coughs> hata akikuja hapa kwenu kitendawili akikuja hapa hakuna kitu atasema atakuja tu eh vijana tv eh vijana tialala eh vijana ria alafu waende mimi nauliza nyinyi tukiendelea na hekaya ya bunwasi ya tv na tialala si hawa vijana tutawapoteza 
ndio mimi nawauliza jamani watu wanakuru let us vote for a team that has a plan that has an agenda that has a program for the transformation of our nation and that is the Kenya Kwanza team our competitors have no plan in fact they don't have a sketch of a plan tunaelewana naguru tumeelewana jambo la tatu tumesema wera ni wera tumesema kazi ni kazi wewe muungwana wanakuru mimi nataka unisikize tumesema kama Kenya kwanza vile tunaweka pesa ya serikali kwa biashara ya kampuni kubwa Kenya Airways na wengine mwaka huu tutaweka pesa ya serikali pia kwa, kwa biashara ya mwananchi wa kawaida nyinyi mnaofanya kazi yao mabandukani wale mnafanya kazi sokoni hata hawa jamaa wa boda boda tumekubaliana tunatengeneza hustlers fund yenye tutaweka kila mwaka bilioni hamsini ili tuweze kuwapatia mikopo bila interest bila ya kuuliza security wewe bora uwe memba wa sako ama uwe memba wa cooperative ama uwe memba ya kikundi utapata pesa ya serikali ya kuinua biashara yako na hautaulizwa interest na hautaulizwa security katika ile mpango yetu ya bottom up ya bottom up ya bottom up ya bottom 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 hebu nione watu wa bottom up bottom up bottom up bottom up bottom up na hey jameni sikimeumana sikimeumana mimi naona kimeumana ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli na jambo la mwisho na wauliza watu wanakuru jambo ya mwisho nawaambia hivi hamutauza tena mali yenu kwenda kulipa gharama ya hospitali we are saying every citizen will be enrolled in universal health coverage hakuna mwananchi tena atauza mali yake ati anaenda kulipa gharama ya hospitali tutakuwa na bima ambayo itajumuisha wa Kenya wote na kila mkenya ataweza kwenda hospitali atibiwe na aende nyumbani bila ya kulizwa pesa yeyote kwa sababu gharama ya hospitali italipwa na bima ya afya ambayo itasimamiwa na serikali ya Kenya jameni watu wanakuru tumekubaliana ndio tumekuja hapa jameni kuuliza kura zenu kuuliza imani yenu kuuliza ushirika wenu ndio tutengeneze hiyo serikali wiki ijayo jumaine tarehe tisa nyinyi mko tayari nakuru mko tayari nakuru mko tayari hebu nione wale wanasema tuko tayari tuko tayari tuko tayari na mimi wacha niwakumbushe jameni watu wanakuru mjue wale tunashindana na wao wale tunashindana na wao hawana mpango hawana sera hawana ajenda kama wangekuwa na mpango kama wangekuwa na sera wangekuja kukutana na mimi pale kwa presidential debate mliwaona walikuja kitenda wili alikuja mliwaona si aliingia kwa nyasi si aliingia kwa kichaka si alitoroka mimi nataka niwaambie alitoroka kwa sababu hana ajenda na hana mpango na hana sera na unajua wewe mti anakuru pale kwa presidential debate uweze kuja kusema eh kitenda wili haiwezekani ama ukuje pale useme tibim haiwezekani lazima uwe na mpango na sera ya kutangazia wa Kenya lakini yule jamaa si alikimbia na bahati yake alitoroka mimi nilikuwa nimempangia kama angekuja pale 
angekiona huyo jamaa i am telling you huyo waja niwaambie huyo jamaa angetoka hapo akienda hospitali kama angejaribu kuja kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka kumuuliza wewe bwana kitendawili wacha kudanganya wa Kenya wewe una wapi pesa ya kemsa wale covid billionaires ni marafiki zako ni washirika wako ni watu wa familia yako muliiba pesa ya watu wa konjwa bilioni kumi na saba pale kemsa alafu nyinyi mkatudanganya ati baada ya siku ishirini na moja watu waliiba pesa ya kemsa watashikwa leo ni miaka mitatu wale waliiba pesa ya kemsa hakuna hata mtu mmoja amepelekwa mahali popote walitudanganya mimi nataka niwaulize watu wanakuru alafu hao watu wanatudanganya ati wanataka kupigana na ufisadi ni matapeli hawa jamaa si matapeli ni waongo si waongo ni wakora si wakora kama nyinyi bwana kitendawili na marafiki zenu mnaweza kuiba pesa ya wagonjwa pale kemsa nyinyi mnadudanganya ati mtapigana na ufisadi hawa jamaa watapigana na ufisadi kweli ni waongo ama si waongo wakati kitendawili alisikia ati niko na maswali ya kemsa aliingia kwa kichaka akatoroka akakataa mambo ya debate nyinyi mnanielewa nakuru tunaelewana na ndio mimi nakuja hapa mbele yenu watu wanakuru jameni tarehe tisa ni jumaine ijayo mimi nawaomba na nawaomba kwa unyenyekevu mukubali tutengeneze serikali ambayo itapanga ajira ya hawa vijana wetu ambayo itapanga biashara ya kila mtu ambayo itapanga kilimo tuondoe aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu tunaelewana jameni tunaelewana mimi nataka niwaambie mambo mawili ya mwisho nataka niwaambie rafiki yangu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya wewe na mimi my friend tulianza hii safari hapa nakuru na tuliambia Kenya hatutarudisha Kenya nyuma mahali wa Kenya watapigana tena na kuomba my friend Mr President kwa sababu wewe ndio mwenye uwezo leo katika taifa letu la Kenya please usikubali wa Kenya wapiganishwe usikubali wa Kenya wapiganishwe do not betray my friend Mr President do not betray the commitment we made to Kenya that there will be no blood again that will be shed on matters politics we made that commitment in nakuru i ask you my friend respectfully please do not betray that spirit the goings on with the county commissioner in this nakuru with the county commissioner in in in, in wasingishu with the county commissioner in tanzoya and the regional commissioner here they are orchestrating conflict among its citizens in this country yet mr president you know very well they are doing this i am asking you my brother respectfully please do not allow this country to go the wrong way let the security agencies protect the property the lives and the interests of all kenyans tunakubaliana jameni mimi nauliza rafiki yangu rais please asikubali watu wapiganishwe Kenya tena ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli wacha mimi nirudie nikiwa hapa nakuru mimi nawaambia wangona wanakuru vijana wanakuru hapa naivasha tumelete SGR hapa naivasha kwa sababu tunataka kutengeneza industrial city nilishawaambia hapa naivasha tutatengeneza industrial city kwa sababu ya mambo mawili pale tuko na power ambaye iko bei rahisi pale tuko na mvuke ama steam ambayo tutatumia kuendesha leather industry kuendesha textile industry and that is why the SGR is in Naivasha today mimi nataka niwaambie vijana wa kule Mombasa mambo ya port operation ambaye imetolewa Mombasa ikaletwa Nairobi tutahakikisha kwamba port operation imerudishwa kule Mombasa ndio vijana wa Mombasa pia 
waendelee na ajira zao lakini hapa nakuru tutakuwa na industrial city ambayo itawapatia hawa vijana nafasi ya ajira na ndio mimi nataka ni mueleze ndugu yangu rais ambaye anasema ati mimi nimesema uongo that is my statement mr president and you know very well that when we build the sgr it was not so that we can move port operations from mombasa it was so that we can have an industrial city in naivasha to create jobs for millions of young people in the hinterland and use mombasa as the export for all the products that will be created in naivasha if there is one not telling the truth mr president you know it is not me then you need to look for the person who is not telling the truth tafuta wewe mwenyewe tunaelewana jameni nakuru tunaelewana tumekubaliana tutaenda pamoja mnasema to create industrial city hapa naivasha ndio vijana wapate ajira wasonge na mambo yao mbele na tu na tu export ile tunatengeneza hapa iende ngambo hebu nione wala wanasema tutatembea pamoja hiyo barabara Mimi nataka nimalizie kwa kuwauliza. Jameni wangwana wanakuru. Tumekuja hapa mbele yenu kuomba kura zenu. Jumaine mtatupatia kura zenu. Tumekuja kwa unyenyekevu mtatuunga mkono. Ndio tuweze kutengeneza serikali ya Kenya. Tushughulike na ajira ya vijana. Tupange mambo yenu ya biashara na tupange kilimo tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya ndio nafasi tumekuja kuwauliza na mimi watu wa nakuru i want to give you my commitment i will not let you down i will work hard so that i don't let you down i will build a team that will take Kenya to the next level na msikue na wasiwasi hakuna mtu ataiba kura zetu msikue na wasiwasi hakuna mtu atanunua kura zetu msikue na wasiwasi tutashinda hii uchaguzi asubuhi na mapema hawa majamaa wanajua tunawashinda ndio mnaona wanafanya opinion poll one day after the other ndio wale wameenda wanalalamika mambo ya IBC ndio wanalalamika mambo ya chepukati ndio saa hizi eti wanapanga njama na machief kuwalazimisha machief eti kununua kura za wakenya mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu zetu wa Kenya let us not sell our future let us not compromise our future with a thousand shillings from the chief let us build that great future that is going to take our children forward and is going to build a nation that each one of us can be proud to be a Kenyan Jameni nimemaliza na mimi nawapenda sana mimi nawapenda sana Jameni mimi nawapenda sana. Asanteni sana kwa imani yenu. Asanteni sana kwa support yenu. Asanteni sana kwa ushirika wenu. And I promise you good people, I will not let you down. I will work hard, I will work smart, I will march forward and we will build a great nation together from Tuesday next week going forward. Mtatupatia hiyo nafasi jameni. Mtatupatia hiyo nafasi? Hebu nione wale wanasema mtatupatia hiyo nafasi. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii. Nimkaribishe Deputy Captain wetu. Naibu wa Rais wa tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Ndugu yangu Shujaa Rigadhi Gashagwa.